for the little ones who can't stay up until midnight. No worries, we have a plan for them too. Here to tell us about New Year's Eve is board president Daniel Moser. Daniel, what can families expect this year? I believe we have microwaved a turkey. Is a super quick response thermometer. <laughs> Craig's still not buying it. It could be a Thanksgiving miracle. 165 point something. Ooh, I'm not gonna eat that part. Wait, okay, so we'll let it we'll let it go <laughs> a little bit more. Look, I've I've eaten worse looking turkeys than this. Okay, it's pretty good. I need it. But you know what I've noticed? The popper didn't pop up yet. Shh. That oh. they, they don't always work. Okay. Wait a minute. The thermometer, the science told us it was done. It's been resting. Matt believes in science. I'm right. <laughs> I do. I have no choice Wait, but, but not to. Okay, no. Okay. We'll we'll get a picture of the okay. other side. You can see here. How is it? Oh, it looks, looks done. It looks uh, done. Does it look good? Yeah. It okay. looks pretty good. I'm gonna cut into That's the breast that dark here. Meat, see, though. I know how to carve this. You gotta go yeah. just on the side of yeah. the backbone. Yeah. Cut down into the breast. Yeah. Let's see. I mean, we're gonna. You're totally killing our turkey for before the picture. No, we'll do the we other side. It. Wow. Guys, it's does it look done. good? It's, it looks great. It's done. We'll we'll show you some How some things here are coming you? up. Very. Right? <laughs> 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 look at this though. Here. Have you washed your hands? This yes, I have. Don't I just did stuff all over them. the. Bear, look at this though. Wow. Wow. Yeah, look at that. Sam, it's a cooking a show. That? Sam, look at that. Look at that. It's it steaming. Looks good. It looks good. It looks done. I will eat that. And it's crispy. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. It's blown <laughs> my mind. Who knew there were soaps for every different occasion? <laughs> every occasion. For, for outdoors. Yeah, this is uh, pretty amazing, Lauren. Thank you. Good stuff. Fred, which one would you choose for the outdoor adventure? Gardening, hunting, or camping? <laughs> you lost him at outdoor adventure. You lost me at outdoors, yeah. <laughs> you guys need to you guys need to make one that's called news anchoring. News anchoring. There we go. There you go. What would that smell like, Abby? Rich mahogany. <laughs> ah yeah. <laughs> well played, Bird. Hello. 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 <laughs> Look uh, terrible. You look uh, very royal this you morning. You know, I found this in my closet and I thought, when am I ever going to get a chance to wear this? <laughs> this is fantastic. This was my grandmother's and I, Aww. you know, which is very sweet. She always wore hats. She was so fashionable. Yeah. I'm not, but I try occasionally. So I kept it and, you know, I felt like it was appropriate. Very nice. I caught well, the fever. It's very fitting for sure. Well, uh, it was just announced, get this, earlier this morning, breaking news by Kensington Palace. That happening tomorrow, Prince Charles will walk Meghan Markle down the aisle at the royal wedding. The highly anticipated day is almost here with everyone perfecting all the details for the bride and groom. And right now, Fox's Lauren Blanchard is in Windsor where the excitement is growing. In special <laughs> report, we're going behind the scenes uh, with the Fox 41 newsroom. You see us here on the news desk every morning, but what are we doing when the cameras are trolling? Fox 41's Sarah Ferguson <laughs> finds out. I can read pig Latin, I can do tongue twisters, and I own a fanny pack. I don't know why I'm not getting more calls. I'm doing our travel week, <laughs> and uh, I'm joined once again by Darcy Mount and your friend who is uh, enjoying wrapping me up right now. I feel like he's constricting me. No. No. He's just holding on. What is, he loves you. What is, who is this? This is Sully. Sully is a bull snake, a common bull snake. A revving good time starting right now. Let's hear your best Monster Jam voice. Monster Jam. Oh, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. It All right. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. He's just hanging out. Why is a koala not a real bear? I don't know. Because it's a marsupial. No, because oh. he doesn't have the qualification. Oh! <laughs> Look at Bert ready to roll. That's awesome. I got what? I got dad jokes. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's time for your pet of the week. And joining us is Gretchen Presley with the Humane Society of the Pikes Peak Region. And you brought a big baby, big baby. with you today. <laughs> Who is this? This is my friend Baby, and he is a nine-month-old. Uh, we're calling him a Great Pyrenees Rhodesian Ridgeback mix. Okay. So this is a very interesting mix, and we think this guy is going to get even bigger. He's I was going to say, his paws. Huge. Yes. <laughs> he's nine months old right now, and he's got room to grow, and so he is going to be quite a large guy indeed. I was anchoring the show, and Christina said, hey, do you want to come throw some axes? And I was like, absolutely. I'll be there in two minutes. So here I am, straight off the anchor desk. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit redneck. So I think I will probably do fairly well with this challenge. I, I've been camping, I hang out in the woods. I feel like it's in my blood. 